So I think what I would like to do, right, uh, there are lots of meetups where they talk about to the, the more advanced stuff. Uh, I want to be the person in the uh, the community in the uh, community that does just does the beginner stuff because I, I f feel very strongly that beginner stuff is very important. So the title of the meetup is called View JS and New Hope, a new hope of what? So we want to talk about beginners, and you want to look at the uh, look at how fantastic View is. Twenty six thousand stars. Uh, last year in 2016, it's probably now more, uh, and we are competing with another uh, quite popular uh, framework. It, if there's one line to sum up Vue.js, it means it's less is more, and later I'll talk to you guys why less is more. Uh, finally, the part about single page uh, apps, SPA, that's uh, very, very exciting, where we in the web development business can go and start to uh, make an impact in the uh, mobile apps. That's a very exciting stuff. And finally, what exactly is Vue.js? In case you didn't know, it's a JavaScript framework. So uh, look at the lines. So uh, a lot of people uh, like to wonder, uh, what exactly do we mean by framework, especially those people who are not uh, coders in the market. So we'll start at the beginning of the beginning. All right, 1000 BC ago, uh, it was paper. Then you can't do very much with paper, okay? You write the thing, that's it, send it to the next guy, Not, nothing much happening. Uh, in the 1990s, uh, HTML came into the market uh, that allows you to tag stuff. So you can see more interaction happening. In 1995, you had JavaScript. So just having a plain page with a bold text wasn't enough. We want to have some interaction happening, and you normally would see that uh, interaction as a alert. 2002 was uh, jQuery, the first JavaScript uh, library. Uh, of a uh, The first popular uh, library is actually still very popular today. And in the 2010, we had the Angulars, uh, starting the upper year, which is a framework. So as it gets more complicated, the frameworks appear. So what exactly is this? Okay, <clears throat> when you're doing a lot of J JavaScript, right, you can see on the right-hand side, it's starting to get very, very complicated over the place. I've seen this everywhere. And you end up with that piece of mess on the left-hand side where you don't know where all this code is coming from. It's either in the middle, it's in the side, uh, it's over the page, you have variables reference all over the place. That's what ends up. And when uh, the framework was developed, I like to think that a framework is actually a arrangement like a carpentry desk or something like that, right? So what's unique about that is that, first of all, you have a set of tools that are available to everybody. Uh, it may be a hammer, it may be a screwdriver, these are the first things. The second thing is everything's arranged. So that's what a framework is. It's arranged neatly so that it can be uh, applied. And the third part, which is you know where everything is. So frameworks are very useful when you ha have multiple people, teams of people who work on the same thing. So imagine if I had a carpentry desk with my friend's house, I could go over there and work on that stuff immediately. So that's what the uh, framework is all about. It, make, it standardizes stuff, makes things easy. And then the final part is best uh, practices incorporated. Um, when you're coding, right, you may not know what the best practices are. You may not know, like I have a very bad habit of naming my variables uh, with an underscore or with camel case, and then they float between these two things. So a little bit of standardization makes it easy to work as a team. So you don't have to learn this stuff. Uh, you don't have to educate the person you're working with. You just have to say, hey, do you work with this framework? Do you work with this set of carpentry stuff? So that's what a framework is. I, I, not many people actually explain this stuff. Uh, those people who are more advanced, just bear with me on that. So what happened in 2017? What, what, why is Vue.js so good that, you know, until I'm so interested in, in, in the first thing is that front end has gone crazy. It is out of control. Every few months, right, a new front end appears, a new technology. Uh, 
before I even downloaded NPM 2. Point something, or uh, I don't know what, I think 4. Point something, the new one came out already. So things that keep changing so quickly in, in front end technology um, is described as for Quora uh, as ADHD. One minute it's React, one minute it's uh, Angular, one minute it's uh, JSX, one minute it's uh, TypeScript. We don't know what's happening. So there's a bit of ADHD yet, uh, the going on. The third thing that's happening is that it's more complicated than ever. You've got uh, the compilers, you've got your webpacks, you've got all this stuff coming in there. So for me, more of a back-end guy, it's like I've just left this stuff for a while because I just couldn't get around it. Uh, finally, you've got <coughs> a certain uh, framework <laughs> that takes 200 megabytes and just to start your hello world. So you do all this stuff just to get it started. So this, this is the current landscape we are in. So why Vue.js? OK, as uh, in a landmark speech, Vue.js started by one guy, Evan Yu. And Evan described this right in, a, in his first speech in 2015 as front-end technologies of using a bazooka to kill an ant. So you set up all this stuff to do a very, very small task. And that is what currently we have uh, in the market. You have all these wonderful technologies. Back about five to ten years ago, right, we didn't have all the frameworks. We had, you know, you started, uh, you know, coding it from scratch. What happens today, right, is instead of coding from scratch, you start looking for your library, you start looking for your tool first to go and solve this problem. We're going way over the other side. So you, you, you look at Angular 2. You got all these files, you have to learn all this stuff just to start your application. And when I was looking at it, it's like, whoa, as an independent person, that is too much work, aka using a bazooka to kill an ant. So what do you do to kill an ant? I mean, one way is to take your shoe and go and take it out and smash the ant. Then the other way is to go out and look for a tool that fits the application. So that is where we came up with the framework versus framework. So on the right are uh, some of the uh, frameworks that you guys know. Okay, on the left is Vue.js. That's the kind of image that you want to be looking at. Which which one would start off faster? Obviously, it would be the left one, and that's what Vue is all about: getting straight up, uh, not bulky framework. So, three reasons why Vue.js is that platform that you want. First one is the tagline, which I think is um, why I'm so uh, excited about Vue. Less is more. So what do we mean by less is more? The, how did this whole thing happen is that you've got your frameworks that are backed up by the big companies. You've got uh, React, which is supported by Facebook. You have Angular, which is supported by Google. These guys are not too concerned about starting from square zero or independent consultants or any, any hacker in the basement, they are interested in big team solu solving big solutions. They, they can hard code or can do it from scratch, all the small stuff. So Vue, where did Vue.js from, come from? It came from just one guy, Evan Yu. He had this idea of you taking the best of Angular 1 and taking some stuff from Ember, mixing that in, but coming up with something that was easy to deploy straight out. And that's one of the best things. Vue.js is so simple, right, that in 60 minutes, you could go out and start coding the thing. That's how simple it is. That's the whole idea of it. And finally, it's agnostic. Uh, it doesn't force you to use technologies out there. So one thing I really hate, right, when I was doing uh, React was that they had this thing called JSX. So I want to use React, but I have to go and do JSX. Angular 2, you want to take Angular 2, they want to do TypeScript. So uh, when you don't normally come across applications that use so much stuff. So Vue doesn't have that kind of stuff. We want to go straight to the coding, we want to get it nice and simple. That's why less is more. 
Second reason is view is progressive. So I know what you guys are thinking. Uh, you saw that uh, framework on the left. So this is a very bare bone kind of stuff. It doesn't do very much. No, you're wrong. In fact, the way to think of view is actually um, like an onion. It has, you can add the layers. It is progressively difficult. You can add all the applications that you hear, the, uh, what do you call, uh, Flux. What is it? Flux. View, view X, uh, same as the React stuff. Some of these very much more complicated stuff. Uh, what it is, is that view is simple with a minimal core and an incrementally adoptable stack. So you can you add on to it, not have this whole thing deployed there and try to take away from it. So I'll show you guys that later, but this is why it's so exciting because generally you just want to take your shoe and squash an ant. If the ant is much bigger, <laughs> then you use a bigger tool. That is how Vue.js works. Um, finally, right, uh, the whole point about design from the ground up to be incrementally adopted. So again, same point, adding into that. You can start off really simple and add on to the thing and have your uh, application achieve the goal. So the third reason is faster. Um, the view is a framework under this structure called the MVVC. Okay, so that's a model view view controller. Um, what this means, right, uh, not many people, I don't know why no one actually explains what MVC looks like. So the way I explain it when clients come over to my office, right, is you think of a restaurant. So MVC, right, uh, let's say you go to a hawker shop. The same guy is the guy who takes your order, is the same guy who plays the thing and cooks the food. In a bigger restaurant, you've got a waiter, you've got a manager, and you've got a cook. So your waiter, he does the presentation of the food, he's the view. The manager is the controller, and the cook is the model. He does all the heavy work. So you, you never interact with the, the cook, you never interact with the model. This view is, uh, with the MVVC means that there's some interaction going on with the view. So a uh, simple example is if a burger comes to me in a restaurant and I want some salt in it, the MVC structure means that they send it back to the kitchen and then the chef puts the salt on it. The MVVC means the uh, waiter has the power to get salt and put it onto the burger. So you're having uh, some actions handled on the view side. Now, uh, what does this mean? Again, you gotta see it in practice, but uh, for me, I think it's, for those people with the backgrounds, maybe in PHP or something, we are quite f uh, comfortable actually having interacts and interactions with our view, with our viewer. Those people who are more traditional in the uh, coming back from the C plus or the uh, C sharp, these guys don't like that. They want all the stuff happening in the back end and the model area. So again, you guys have, if you like that kind of thing happening in the view, if you think it's really stupid to go back to kitchen and put salt there, you want it to be in the front, view is for you. So we'll take a look at that. And finally, um, coding experience with the coder. So on your right there is the React code, on the left is the uh, view. And uh, you can see the difference of the type of code. We have a object there. And on the right hand side, there's a little bit one more step more. The handles message change step, which is a, uh, it's a DOM system. Uh, don't bo worry what the heck that actually means, but <laughs> what it means is there's, there's one additional step happening down there. The other thing that's happening at the bottom, if you can see, this area, uh, is that the view is doing a lot of the control. So you, you have your V model there, and that's actually uh, a, a view model. That, so you can actually affect changes in the view. Okay? So, oh no, okay, this part. <laughs> okay, so, um, I think the best way, right, when I was going through this thing, right, 
is that since view is so simple, we should actually go and code the thing live and show you guys that how this actually works. Because no matter what I explain, right, this, you know, 